In this video, we're going to cover exercise 8.2a, starting from page number 247. It's mainly about navigating using the navigation pane. So when you have a fairly lengthy documents, uh, for example, this is only uh, five pages long, but it could be a lot longer. And once you have uh, certain formatting applied, for example, this one, the title here, has heading one uh, style and there's a subtitle such as this is has a heading two and so is this one and if you go keep going and then you have another uh, main subject heading so that's heading one and right below that that's heading two and so on so once we have this styles applied then you can use navigation pane fairly effectively so let's go ahead and put that on. So go to the View tab, and then uh, make sure that it's a paint pay, uh, print layout view. And then key thing is in the Show group, put the check mark next to the Navigation Pane, and then you have this Navigation Pane open. So it's basically it's like a a, a link list on a web page so when you go to a web page you may have uh, this navigation pane on the left side or navigation bar on the left side so basically it works the same way you just go ahead and click on it it goes to the certain section and it is this list is automatically populated as you apply certain text with um, styles so for example spool, uh, spoofing it has a heading two and it shows up here so it picks up the content from uh, the styles in this case heading two and puts in the list right here so that's how this works so if, if you want to go let's say chapter four go ahead and click on chapter four and then it goes to chapter four which has heading one and then right below that systems failure it goes there because it has heading two styles so based on the hierarchy of a style for example heading one has a higher uh, hierarchy than heading two it picks up the navigation pane picks up the structure based on that so if you were to change for example on the chapter four if you change this to uh, from heading two heading one it changes automatically here in the navigation bar so it elevates the the level up so let me change back to heading two so it goes back to where it belongs okay so let me just undo that keep the uh, to keep the uh, um, formatting and so that's one way using the headings and the other way is using the uh, pages. So pages are straightforward. So if you have like, uh, for example, five pages, you can just click on the page icon to go to exactly where you want to go. So that's fairly straightforward. So again, you go to the view tab and then put the check mark on next to uh, navigation pane. So that's uh, 8.2a and we're going to move on to 8.2b it is about okay let me just type it in so you'll see okay hold on just one second here's a new tab so this is going to be exercise 8.2 so i'm just giving you a visual clue when you're watching this video okay so we are talking about 8.2 now and it's about it's on page number 249 it is about bookmarks so it sounds fairly similar to web pages as well but of course it's you know this word document is not web page but the way you can navigate or link to certain section of a document is fairly similar to the way web pages work so we're going to move on to 8.2 page number 249 and it's going to be using the same let's see 
same document. So same document here. So you can go ahead and close the navigation pane here by clicking on it. All right, so uh, first we need to make sure that you have a certain option set up. So go to file and go to options and then um, click on the advanced category and then just scroll down about about um, about a third from the top so from top here just go about a third and then you will see a section called show document content and down there somewhere in the middle you have a show bookmarks make sure that show bookmark has a checkbox next to it check next to it okay so once you put the add a check mark and go ahead and click on OK and now you once you add a bookmark you will be able to see the bookmark uh, okay so first we are going to go to the top of the document so control home so that'll take you to the top of the document the insertion point is blinking right here okay and um, but the textbook says uh, put the insertion point at the beginning of the first paragraph so that's uh, the line two okay and then that's where we're gonna put um, a bookmark so what do you think so where do you think we should go home insert design well we're gonna go to insert because we are about to insert a bookmark so where is the bookmark mm. So you kind of uh, switched around because I made this window a little bit smaller. So here. So if you you will you will actually see. Let's max, let me maximize this window so you you will see what I mean. So here. Okay, come on. Or maybe I just widen the width of the. Uh, okay. So there. Okay. So normally, if you maximize the window, you will see a bookmark showing up here. Uh, automatically uh, but I just made the window a little bit small so it got tucked away so anyway it's in the uh, the links group and click on bookmark and we're gonna give it a name and the name of the bookmark is going to be access and then click on add oopsie oh not oopsie but anyway so you see where the insertion point was blinking it was a big eye beam here it's kind of a fairly massive looking eye beam and that's the bookmark so here uh, my pointer has an eye beam my insertion point is blinking right there but if you look at right next to letter L there's a big letter I so that is the bookmark Okay, so when you print it, of course, it's not going to show. So, for example, here, print, file, print. The bookmark is in an invisible character. So, see, nothing shows. So, that's okay, and that's what it's supposed to be. The function of a bookmark is basically an indication where you need to go. So it doesn't have to show when you print it, but when you edit it, you, it shows as a big letter um, I beam. Okay, so let's move on to the next page, 250. We're going to add another bookmark. So here, um, let's see, insert the bookmark named the virus at the beginning of the paragraph in the type of virus. Uh, look at page number three. So I'm going to go down to page number three. And page number three. Okay, types of virus. And we're going to put a, a bookmark right there in front of the, the first paragraph. And go to insert. And then links group. And click on bookmark. And this one, we are going to name it as viruses. So V I R U S E S. 
Did I spell right? Viruses. Okay, that looks right. So go ahead and click on Add. And again, the big I beam shows up here. That's the bookmark. And we're going to add one more. Hmm. Okay, step two and insert a bookmark named electrical at the beginning of the first paragraph in the systems failure section on page number four. So go to page number four uh, right here. Systems failure, and we're going to name it, name the bookmark as electrical and click on add all right so we have three bookmarks and now you can navigate it's not necessarily well the same as for example let's say view navigation pane so this is a different so in the navigation pane you use pages or headings styles and so on so that's one thing but now we are going to use bookmarks to navigate so how do you do it well it is kind of a rudimentary because you actually have to go to insert and then um, bookmarks in the bookmarks dialog box you can actually click on a bookmark and then here press the go to button and then go um, here you click on it and click on go to and it may not somehow sometimes it just uh, does not work properly uh, it works but it doesn't render correctly render correctly so if you click on it and then click on go to if just a um, just blank page shows up don't worry about it just click on go to one more time and it shows uh, renders the page correctly so click on let's say electrical click on go to so it kind of a chopped off um, it's not an issue you just click on go to one more time it it's supposed to work properly but sometimes it doesn't it's kind of flaky so go click on go to one more time and then it shows okay so that's how you can navigate and then uh, let's see let's go ahead and delete one of these uh, bookmark so go ahead and select electrical and then click on delete and then you have just only two bookmarks and go ahead and click on close all right so um, I think that's it and then we will move on to uh, 8.2 C